Do all feminists think the same? Was uh, a. Right. So for you, it is the ability to create life, and that's basically. I love this, dude. Okay, Jubilee did a feminism video. We're gonna watch it. Basically, what makes you a woman? Femininity and womanhood is so much more than just you know getting dressed up and putting on makeup, and just the way I feel. It's it's who I am, on a biological level. Men can be feminist. Three, two, one, go. Why you know? someone agree? <laughs> what the? F Why not? Uh oh. I'm wearing a hoodie that says men can be feminist too. <laughs> I feel like I have to be over here. Oh god, dude. I just like. Uh, uh. I'm sorry, I just, I find, like, I find people who are like, I'm an LGBT ally, or I'm a male feminist, like, people who say stuff like that, they'd be so f cringe, just, like, painfully cringe. It sucks, I just, but, it just, it's so performative, like, just be a feminist, like, you don't have to f billboard it. I think most men that are feminists are, like, usually either lazy, virtue signaling, just want to see tits, or access to easy sex. I think it depends on your- Yeah, dude. So, I do think that there's a lot of creepy people that do this, like, that are all- Like, not a lot, but there definitely is that meme where it's like, Oh, I'm a male feminist, and then it's oh, like, in the real world, you're just like, kind of a piece of shit. Right? But, why do people think that, like, being a feminist gets you- Like, I, I don't- I don't understand why people- <laughs> Like- Who's like, oh, you're feminist? Yo, let me throw it your way. Let me throw this back out for you, King. Because it does. The only time I've ever heard mother say that is literally incels and fem cells. Those are the only two type of individuals that say like, oh, you're just being a feminist for p dude. I've never actually seen people be like, oh man, you're such a feminist. Let me f you. Let me throw it back for you, King. It's like that old rant that I had where um, there was a, remember when a chatter was like, you're just like a fake feminist for pussy. And I was like, no, you me because I'm six foot four now because and, and attractive, not because uh, I'm a feminist. You me even if I wasn't. What's that? Your definition of feminism, like modern day feminism, I would say yes. Like traditional feminism, like advocating for, you know, traditional femininity and non discrimination in the workplace. Like I think those things men can agree with. I see what you're saying when you're like, there's this performative feminism that a lot of guys do. So if a male feminist is like, oh, I only support like women and it's just only about that, but he's not even talking about how like feminism needs to support men or like trans people or whatever, then there is a performativeness to it. Why like, it's always this, for me it's this, just treat women normal. Wait, what is this? I'm not gonna f you just, just because you say women are the real troopers. No, you're gonna f me because I'm six foot four and you like my political opinions on top of that and you find me sexually attractive. You're not gonna f me for saying shit like that. You f no, I totally agree with him. He's completely right. Uh, let me just get my water real quick. So, anyways, what I was. Uh, I feel like these people all hate me now. Though. Women are the real troopers. No, you're gonna f me because I'm six foot four and you like my political opinions on top of that and you find me sexually attractive. You're not gonna f me for saying shit like that. You. F no, I totally agree with him. He's completely right. Uh, let me just get my. Maybe you hooked up with or are attracted to a lot of women who have internalized misogyny. I and I and women I know are definitely attracted to the feminist men. Like, wait, what? Are you implying that I'm a misogynist? What the fuck is this take? No. I just, I think that people who like do the fucking performative feminist bullshit are not attractive. I don't think they're attracted to women either. I think they can spot it for the most part. Just treat women normal. Just be normal. That's my take. I always. Read it again. They said women who have internalized hate. They do it, they do do it to get proximity to women and make them trust them. I can see that. Being a feminist makes a man more attractive in my opinion, to be honest. <sighs> I'm not getting p before or after becoming a male feminist. Like, I think what people even consider to be for performative feminism is just literally men treating women like human beings. Which of course, in a uh, patriarchal setting, comes across as unique and new. It's like eating p okay? It's the bare minimum. Eating p is the basic bare minimum thing you can do but because most dudes are selfish and don't give a they don't eat so those who do are automatically seen as better in bed that's it it's quite literally the bare minimum 
So whenever we're talking about like feminism, this feminism, that it's not actually, we're not actually having a conversation about feminism. We're talking about the top of the hour ad break and how it comes at the top of the hour, sometimes two minutes before. And if you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe and you can subscribe for $5 or you can subscribe for free with a Twitch prime. Grab the, hold on one second. No, not Marat myth is here. Hold on one second. I'm going to keep playing this. I'll be back in a second. Eight feminist voices are too loud. Three, two, one, go. I somewhat agree like that white feminist voices are too loud, but then I think that they become really good at using black women or black faces. Yeah, he's gone already. I mean, it's working out. When they I'm just giving him my car. Oh, women are gay. Wait, I'm going to I'm going to Venmo you money. Uh, can you get gas? Because it's out of gas. I'll, I'll just I'll well, not Venmo. I'll send you money. You know, push their movement further. I, I agree that it's probably not balanced, and I think it... I forgot that I was doing the top of the hour debate. At the top of the hour, there's a 60 second ad break. If you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe. You can do that for $5. You can do that for free. Here's the one-minute ad break now. No, I don't have Cash App. And I don't, I, don't, I don't use Venmo. I don't have Cash App. I, uh, I, I do have PayPal. Anyway, here's the one-minute ad break now. Obama. Probably needs to be more equal. I guess the reason why I'm at somewhat disagree is just because I'm hesitant to say that anyone speaking up for their views is too loud. I think that's fine, and I can definitely see what you're saying. I just hate like when some of these movements use black women when it's convenient for them. There's not discussion about the Latinas immigrant how they're getting treated on the feminist movement. You know, it's always about either the pro-choice pro -choice side or, or, or something else that it's more interesting to white. When you think of feminism, you... That's why I don't say I'm a feminist and I say I'm an ally or uh, that's why I'm going to say I'm a LGBT foe and a, a foe to women, an enemy. I usually think of a white lady um, and I think that's still perpetuated even though there'd be like a lot of black women behind the scenes doing a lot of the heavy lifting and often are in a lot of civil rights movements white women have certain rights they need through feminism as other people but they're just always taken more seriously by everyone i'll read off a list of public figures and you'll go to your left if you believe the person to be yeah. a feminist or the right if you don't think they're a feminist kim kardashian I wouldn't say that she isn't a feminist. I, I, I don't think that's her number one thing. She went from doing her show and the whole like sex scandal thing to like, you know, now she's working in law and civil rights. Wait, what? Oh, 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 she's saying, okay. I don't know, I'm conflicted on Kim Kardashian. Like, I don't think she gives a fuck about women overall, so I don't know. I think she just gives a about herself but she does have some like feminist qualities you know right so she's done the whole family thing ultimately i think that kim kardashian is a woman that has like done what she's wanted to do but that's not what the f that's not feminist oh my god if anyone says amy coney barrett is a feminist i'm gonna lose my mind okay well let's coney see barrett. what okay uh, all right Put every liberal in a fucking spaceship, dude. Send them out to orbit. Are you joking? Are you kidding me? Oh my god, I hate women. I hate women so much. I've literally never hated women and feminists more in this very moment than I do right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh god, I hate women so much! Oh! What the f Oh! What is happening, dude? Oh, stop, 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 stop. I can't. This is hurting my brain. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my fucking God. I'm having a... Oh, this is bad. This is the worst thing I've ever seen. Amy COVID Barrett is a feminist? Oh, I can't wait to hear this. Amy COVID Barrett, in my opinion, is like the epitome of a feminist. She's literally like a Supreme Court justice in like the highest court of the land. And she- Nah, 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 no, 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 no. We, we deserve bad things. We don't deserve good things. We deserve bad things. We will never have good things. Are you kidding me, dude? Yo, this is literally the Eric Andre meme. This is actually the meme where it's like, was Margaret Thatcher doing girl boss shit? Like this is, this is, 
Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Hillary Clinton. Uh, pantsuit feminism. Oh, oh, my God. These women think Hillary Clinton's a... F oh, fuck. Bro, Kim Kardashian is a better feminist than Amy COVID Barrett. Okay? Straight up. Kim Kardashian is a better feminist than Amy COVID Barrett. Straight... I'm not even kidding. Like, that's not even a joke. That's 100%. Kim Kardashian has a vagina. Okay? Don't have to have a vagina to be a feminist. But... uh, And... and thinks that you shouldn't be able to stop women from having abortions if they want to. Like, women should be able to have uh, autonomy over their own bodies. Boom. Automatically, more feminist than Amy COVID Barrett. That's it. That Literally. Most dudes that would catcall women are more feminist than Amy COVID Barrett. Like, dudes that are like, yeah, I think women are stupider than men for the most part but also at the same time like they should be able to get an abortion if i end up impregnating one this automatically more feminist than amy covid barrett okay like you, you're literally you can't be a feminist on the one hand and simultaneously be like i'm going to utilize this completely insane undemocratic uh, awesome power that i have to control millions of women okay i'm, I'm put in a position of power specifically so that it can stop women from doing things to their own body and like forcibly make them carry pregnancies to term you can't what the f isn't it that like white feminism exclusively like i thought one of the criticisms of white feminism was that it revolved too much around uh, uh abortion and that's it like nothing else you know what i mean and i thought that was a fucking frustrating thing i thought people were like upset i thought that was a valid criticism of white feminism lacking intersectionality because of its hyper focus on abortion rights which is still very significant and very important don't get me wrong but like there's so much more to it and these people failed that metric are you serious it's just pure aesthetics for these idiots dude pure aesthetics dude capitalism is rotted the brains of these people dude holy shit he totally disproves the narrative that women have to choose between having a career and a family i, I don't really agree with her a lot on a political stances but i think more so as just being a role model for women yeah of course men can be feminist too andy over here literally named andy would be oh my god oh oh dude oh dude oh launch me into the dude i'm just gonna paratroop into ukraine i'm gonna have the i'm gonna have spetsnaz just kill me in a video game okay i'm escaping from tarkov oh my god i want to be the franz ferdinand of the ukraine conflict I just, I'm going, it's, it's over. I'm going to go there. I'm going to put my body on the line. There's no more need for any of this, okay? Holy shit, dude. I will stream it too, yes. Oh, Jesus, this is so bad. This is the so, this is so stupid. Be on a level of the Supreme Court where it's primarily dominated by men. J.K. Rowling. Three years ago, I would have said yes, and there's still a lot of reasons I would. She was a single mom. She wrote all the books. She became a billionaire. The reason I would say kind of no now is her just kind of weird anti-trans zealotry she's gotten involved in that kind of undercuts a lot of her other feminist stuff. I mean, I disagree that just for the fact that she expresses her own opinions and now people like literally crucified her and, and- It's like qualifications for a woman being a feminist is make a lot of money and do girl boss shit. There is no better example that capitalism has rotted the very core of people's humanity than this video right here. We're watching a video on supposedly left-leaning, supposedly left-leaning, left-adjacent people that are like liberals, I think, I suspect, for the most part, saying just the absolute dumbest, most idiotic things right now. This is psychotic, dude. This is psychotic. What the f really was this her a lot of her other feminists and now people like literally crucified her and and really want to like put her under and undermine everything she has done, you know? Just, like what? What what did she do? She wrote good books. I don't understand. What are they people aren't undermining that? Like that's just people still read Harry Potter, people love the movies. Literally crucified. Uh, yeah, she is so f crucified, dude a big platform that when you're talking like this very extreme stuff about a marginalized group that's really the issue why should women like with a platform be forced to align with the mainstream narrative of what it means to be a woman and a feminist like 
Yo, Rhonda's like, nah, feminist girl bossing is being a dumbass, actually. Like, <laughs> like girl bossing is when you're a fucking transphobic dumbass. Uh, excuse me. Women should be able to be dumbasses too, bitch. That's right. I love that, dude. I love this. Oh my God, it's so good. Oh, this is so Oh, this is so bad. Why is this so bad? Why? What is happening? What is happening here? Like, why can't her own personal journey be enough? It's it really comes down to not that it's an opinion. It's that she's spreading a lot of dangerous misinformation. But based on what, though? Because you don't agree with it? No, it's scientific facts. Like, she's just talking about stuff that's incorrect. And her ideas about trans men have... Oh, my God. Yo, 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 yo. Rhonda is literally like seconds away from getting this video demonetized okay she's looking at them like keep talking this information but based on what though because you don't agree with it no it's scientific facts like she's just talking about stuff that's incorrect and her ideas about trans men have affected legislation gop senator quotes jk rowling while blocking vote on the lgbtq bill <sighs> that harms trans men getting the resources they need. Trans women are women. Three, two, one, go. Oh, I mean, this was the <laughs> exact same disparity, dude, except for the uh, dumbass dude who was like, uh, JK Rowling is a girl boss like Amy COVID Barrett. Yeah, yeah, I knew R Rhonda rushed. I think we're all just positioned here based on our political um, beliefs and as for how we see um, the LGBTQ. I mean, I think it's also split between, I mean, all the men are on this, that side and all the women are on this side. I know, being a woman, that there are certain things that we- Wait, I don't want to make uh, assumptions. Is, uh, is, the, is the person in the back, is that, is that a trans man? Or what, what's going on there? Like, I, I, because I, they, they didn't, they did not specify, so I don't know. Or did they? And I missed it. Why would we know? No, he, they might have. I, I don't know. He might have. Okay. Okay. So, okay. So hold on. Hold on. <laughs> the reason why I'm asking this question, and some of you already probably picked up on it. <laughs> the reason why I asked this question is because <laughs> she's literally transphobic, but not, but for the sake of this situation to, to win a brownie point, she's like, but I will actually recognize your identity as a trans man. <laughs> She's like, I'm transphobic, but also simultaneously when there's a trans man in front of me, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm actually a trans ally. As long as I can make the point that you're a man, which is hilarious. If it, look, it's just, <laughs> she's like, <laughs> yeah, well, hold on, hold on. This is awesome. It's just, it's so funny because TERFs literally always forget trans men exist. Like, they just don't care. Like, they literally do not care. They're, like, trans men are always completely removed from the conversation. It's just, they hate, I, I cannot state this enough. I'm sorry. It comes from just hating men. TERFs just hate men and whoever they perceive to be men, okay? Like, if you were assigned male at birth, it's like, you're done, okay? It's on site. I'll spray you straight up it's like how transphobic dudes about uh trans people in sports like operate on this like incredibly misogynistic point of view where it's like they think that like the argument is about like men being stronger physically than women or something you know what i mean and that's why they're always like no any guy could beat any professional athlete woman so of course trans women can't do it either because they're like technically the, they get the advantages like it's the same energy but the inverse of it this is great this is great and when do when turfs do notice trans men, they literally call them traitors of the female gender and shit. Inspiriting. They say the same with AFAB MBs. <sighs> this is great. This is a great video. We have to deal with as women that people who are not, you know, biologically women don't have to deal with. I mean, we have to like deal with having our periods and go through that really awkward stage when we're 13. And people who are, you know, trans women don't have to go through that. Trans women. Wait, what? Dude, this is why this conversation is so stupid. Whenever tr people try to, like, assign terms to womanhood, it always falls apart. Like, you have to go down to some of the most insane levels to, like, 
that you would never use contextually, okay? That you would never use contextually when making an assertion of whether someone is a woman or not, okay? But like in order to make an argument and 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 make boundaries on what is womanhood, they're like, well, woman is all about being uh, on your period, actually. Like, what? What, what? what are you saying? What are you saying? Are you saying that there aren't cis women that never experience periods? Like, when you're on birth control, you're not a woman? The f like, oh, it's just, you know, what made me, um, what made me a woman was my uh, gnarly periods when I was younger. Okay, good. That's, uh, that's cool. Yeah, post-menopause, you become a man. In a weird way, I do find turf shit to be like rather anti-feminist like when uh live posting talked about this uh on one of her tiktoks where turfs are like super anti-feminist right in a weird way because they like weirdly enough go against like the foundational tenet of feminism which implies equality between men and women and the entirety of the turf struggle trans exclusionary radical feminist for those of you who don't know is all about reigniting and like upholding these boundaries that exist these arbitrary boundaries that exist between men and women and in a lot of ways being like kind of misogynistic like if i were to say shit like they say everyone would be like dude you're a piece of shit like you hate women like if i were to say something like for example if i were to say something along the lines of like oh my god i can't believe the first female winner of jeopardy like or what is it jeopardy is a trans woman right that's like, that's so she took that away from uh, cis women that could have won that title. Like with the implication, the hidden implication there as Liv Posting posted on her TikTok as well, is that like what men are smarter than women? Like, why are you saying that? <laughs> like, like you believe this trans woman is actually what? Like has a genetic advantage because uh, she was assigned male at birth. So automatically she has like bigger, better male brain than the cis women. Like what, what the is going on? Why would you say that? That's so strange. It is incredibly strange to say. Of course, the chicken in the blue has a pig with this guy. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, what? The oh, my God. Of course. Pro-life Barbie. Oh, that's the girl. Oh, Jesus. Lord mercy. Dude, where the f do they find these people? Yo, I swear to God. Oh. Live their entire lives as women they don't turn it off. It's not something that they're turning off and then to come up to them and say, oh yeah, I see you're doing this, but you're not a woman. You know, it's kind of how, how do you live your life as a woman? Because so, every so, single so, time somebody says that. Oh, Rhonda Mary is also freedom advocate promoting 2A for us black women everywhere. Oh, 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 that's what's going on. That's what's up. I, I Okay, these aren't libs at all. Never mind. These are just straight up like, Oh, never mind. These are straight up. Like, I don't know about the third woman here, but these two are just cons Yo, why is it that conservative people are just always conservative media people? Like when they find libs that are in the media, right? Because it's Jubilee. A lot of people that are in media will oftentimes be like liberals, but they're also doing something else. Like, you know, I have a YouTube channel where I talk about finance or whatever the f but I'm a liberal. But like whenever they have conservative people, they literally are just conservative commentators. Like, why can't you find someone who is not directly being funded by a think tank in some capacity that is also that happens to be conservative? It's literally always like if you're a content creator that's conservative, you're just a conservative content creator and nothing but. But when you are a, a liberal that's going on Jubilee, I don't know, you have a fucking Minecraft channel or whatever the you have like something different. You're not just a liberal content creator that is making content expressly around liberalism and being a liberal, okay? But conservatives, always. They're operatives, always, always, always. It's, they, they name the most stereotypical things. It's like putting on a dress, putting on makeup. It's biological. I was so born a woman. Is, is I, can't, I can't be a man. So I can't if it's, be if it's a man no matter how much biological. I try. I can't I don't allow my chat the raid also opens Instagram for 35k to see not Pepe Le D. Um, first and foremost, if you go there and you write some shit, I will ban you. Okay. You know this already. Um, do you want to get banned though? Not Pepe Le D. Is that what's going on? Are you trying to get clapped or what? No. Okay. Well then why are you saying dumb shit like that? These people's Instagrams are linked in the bio of this video. But obviously, as always, do not go there ever. Do not interact with these people ever. Can't be. And it's just 
you know, chromosomes and that's it. Are the differences just chromosomes, just having children? That's like so hurtful and discriminatory against women because- Wait, what? You literally just said womanhood is about experiencing periods, a mess. You just said being a woman is about being, uh, having like gnarly periods when you're a teenager. Isn't that hurtful? Why are you going back on that? What the f You just said that, but now it's like, oh, is it just about chromosomes? What the f That's like so hurtful and discriminatory against women because femininity and womanhood is so much more than just, you know, getting dressed up and putting on makeup and just the way I feel. It's, it's who I am. Wait, wait, what? That's, this is a pro-trans argument. What is happening right now? Am I, did I just have an aneurysm? Did you just switch it up? Did I misunderstand her prior point? Did she just literally argue in the most reductive capacity to, to reduce womanhood to having a period and then turn around in the exact same argument to be like, being a woman is about so much more than just being able to give birth to a child? What the f Is this the live TikTok you were thinking of? Yes. First, we have transgender Jeopardy champ Amy Schneider being the first woman to surpass the million dollar This shit is so funny to me because like, do you think that men have like a biological advantage against Three women when playing Jeopardy? Like it's unfair that this trans woman is being considered a woman when she's playing Jeopardy because she has a smart male brain. Whereas all these cis women, they have stupid female brains. So it's unfair that she's considered the first woman. Like how, how is that possibly in any way feminist? You like your entire ideology is built on the idea that like, you know, women are just biologically dumber. Exactly. Let's go! Let's go! It's right! Liv's right! I agree with this. The second part of what she said. I'm, I'm a feminist as well, and I think that women have dumb female brain, and men, fellas, we have strong male brains, and women, they have dumb brains that they like to go shopping. Women be shopping, dude. I'm a feminist, by the way. Huh. <sighs> on a biological level. Right, so for you, it is the ability to create life, and that's basically what makes you a woman. What makes you a man? Or would you consider yourself a man? I probably should. Yeah, I, I'm a, I, I was born a man. I behave as a man. I carry so myself society as a man. So what would I have to do to be a man, a man like you? So, I wanna be a so, man now. So we, we can both agree that our society has things that men generally do, things that women generally do, right? If you Yeah, start shopping, say it. Say it, shopping. Fall on one side of the spectrum versus the other side of the spectrum, then you're going to be treated as that gender. <laughs> I think it's a little obscure that we're looking at such this a- This video about Jubilee feminism made me into an anti-feminist. I'm just, I'm- It's also so ruthless to just like debate the existence of trans people, like the validity, the humanity of trans people with a trans person right there. Like that's, it's just so dude. It, 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 like literally, it's just, there's no other- there's no other situation where that's acceptable, okay? Really? If you're a feminist, then explain this. Oh my god, I hate women. I hate women so much. I've literally never hated women and feminists more in this fucking very moment than I do right now. Yeah, you got me. It's on the record. Basic requirement, more so that, I mean, humans are much more evolved than any other animals, so why are we still using just the requirement of, well, if that person has a penis, he's a male, or that person has a vagina, they're a female. I think you're a masculine woman or a feminine man that doesn't make you that gender and to try to like deny just basic biological facts we all learn this in high school like let's stop acting do they not realize that there, there is a like a trans man right there like i don't like i feel like they're just not you are the one doing that or do they just not care like i don't i don't know it's like kind of fucked up Acting like it's something new and different now because it's like the hip thing to say. I think there's like a lot of conflating of being female versus being a woman. Being female is chromosomal, it's what you're born as. Being a woman is a societal construct. They can align, like yours obviously all align. Um, like you pointed over here, you're like all the men over here. The first 30 years of my life, I was a woman. I transitioned. It's a disconnect with who, what you're born as and what you feel you should so be. So gender dysphoria? Yes. Okay, I can believe it. I 100% could believe it, yeah. If it was just like, I just wanted to be a masculine woman, then sure, that's easy to do. But 
that didn't work. I'm not gonna say I'm male, I wasn't born with XY. That'll never change, and no trans person will ever tell you they're biologically born that way, because if anyone knows anything about biology, it's trans people, that's why they have to get hormones and do all this other stuff. And it doesn't take away your womanhood if someone else is a different type of woman. It's a different experience yeah. that shouldn't make you feel less of a woman if they're around or vice versa. Do you all feel like the feminist movement should be fighting for trans women um, within that movement? I mean, it should be fighting for everyone's genders, whether they're trans women, trans men, cis women, cis men, or non-binary people. That's just part of feminism. Can owned. I don't think so. I think it did. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Dude, what are words? Meaningless. Feminism is just literally... Dude, I love this. I love this. Conservative feminists are awesome, dude. They're so sick. They're just like, no. Feminism is like women getting ahead, actually. This is great. This is wild to just be like this, okay? Feminism is when I, you, you can't get an abortion. And also, I wonder if the uh, Andy, the dude wearing the dumbass, like, oh, I'm a feminist, by the way, shirt, feels conflicted now that he was, like, literally with them on the lineup up until the turf shit. Like, no. Feminism is when you're a girl boss uh, and, and also f the men. Okay, sick. Yeah, you want sub kings. Every feminist should be pro choice. Three, two, one, go. What? I consider myself to be. Bro, what is happening, dude? What is going on? What the f is going on? Where did they find these people, dude? At the trash store? Did they go to the toilet factory to find all the toilet people? Oh my god. Like, I hated uh, gender studies in college. Like, it's just so boring. I just, I, I found it so complicated and boring and shit like that. I'll be honest with you, okay? But god damn, dude. People need that. Oh my god. People actually need it. They need, like, critical gender theory, I think. What is going on? Like, it's just, like, super basic shit. It's actually super basic shit. It's just like, if you think, <laughs> what? Am I, maybe I'm just it completely, honestly, maybe I'm just completely removed from, like, the real world where, like, people are really this dumb and this stupid. Um, I don't know. This is, like, hurting my brain a little bit. Usually there's, like, some salvageable point in a Jubilee video. This one is, uh, you know, th there's nothing on it. There's actually nothing I can, nothing I can point to and be like, this is good. Leon is pretty much the only person saving this entire thing. To be a pro-life feminist and i think that the idea that um we can tell women that they can't identify as feminists unless they say that they're pro-choice goes totally so wait what the, like what, what do they think it's like being a boss bitch is that what feminism is feminism is like feminism unironically is more uh brutal female prisons like feminism is girl boss shit what the master chef denial feminism is when when you fucking uh Feminism is when you nuke uh, an entire country and like turn it into a crater, but you do it when like the woman is the one hitting the button. And also in the aftermath of the devastation, you can then exploit the country's female uh, workforce. But a girl boss is doing the fucking exploitation instead of a, uh, ew, a man with a penis. Yuck. That's what feminism is all about. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is so bad. Essentially. Yeah, it's you forgot she has dumb woman brain. Yeah, that's probably what it is. What what is happening? It's super basic stuff. I thought people were dude, I thought people were you know, back in like the Gamergate era, I thought people were just like they would recognize that it's like pretty basic. Feminism is equality between men and women. Okay? That's it. Like you're you're feminist, you advocate for equality between men and women. W why are they complicating it? I don't understand. Like, what happened? What changed? Why are the dynamics different now? Am I old? Am I getting old? Are people doing this now? Is this what feminism is? Feminism is like... Like, I thought we used to make fun of these psychos. Uh, you know, like, oh, Hillary Clinton pantsuit feminism. Like, that's white feminism. Like, that does not feature intersectionality. I do not support all women. Some of you bitches are very dumb. 
<laughs> oh, true. I feel so bad for the transfers on the Jubilee video. They are so clearly trying to be open to others and trying to be their side, and they just keep getting hit with the barrage of stupidity that's incomprehensible. Yeah. The sand made me hate sea swimming. Love to all trans chatters. You are so cool. Wide people happy. So I don't, I don't get it. Like, when did the rules change? Like, when, when did feminism become this thing, dude? What the? F like, when did feminism become like this, uh, this, this Buzzfeed girl boss capitalist uh, feminism? When did that happen? Help me understand how that Liana saying is not the all lives matter of feminism. It seems like he was saying that feminism is meant to be supportive of all genders. I just don't get what he means. No, feminism is about equality amongst men and women. So clearly, all lives matter is a part of Black Lives Matter. Okay? When you say feminism is about women getting equal rights, that's fine. You say that. Exactly. Okay? The all lives matter is baked into Black Lives Matter. Black lives are a part of all lives. Okay? But if you simply turn it around and say, oh no, all lives matter, what the f do you mean? Without, when, when someone is saying black lives matter, then you're, what you're doing is basically stating that black lives are not a part of all lives. And the same goes for what Leon is doing there. They asked if trans women should be uh, advocated for within the feminist movement. And Leon said, the feminist movement is about all genders. And they're right. I mean, he's right. It is about all genders. Feminist movement is about, is as all lives matter as black lives matter is. Feminism is about both men and women's rights. It's about women's rights being equal to men's rights. But when they are not, that's the reason why you focus on the women's rights aspect of it. You are so wrong. Yes, no. Feminism is about putting you into divorce court. Feminism is about not making sure that chatter never gets... It's kind of weird though, because like, this is, this is going to provide a very distorted... You never see my takes. There's another side to the story. Oh, here, let's hear it. The side that never gets represented is transphobia. Get baited. I fucked your... Ah, fuck it. Uh, I'm not going to ban him. Against everything that feminism stands for. I agree with that. And I think there's actually something that's... It sounds taking a woman's space and making it about men. What? I mean, this is called mansplaining. And sounds taking a woman's space. Bearing in mind a trans woman is a woman. What? Trans women are real what? Women and also they're really pretty. Wait, all the female presenting people don't believe trans women are women? They really cherry pick those women then? A pro-life feminist? I'm beginning to suspect I'm beginning to suspect Hassan is secretly anti-feminist. What is going on? What the fuck is going on? I, I am I am literally a, an enemy to feminism. Okay? I am. It's, it's same with the LGBT community. Why are you talking about women's business? <laughs> yeah. Is, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm all the things you think I am. Uh, even from the turf perspective, feminism would uplift gay men out of homophobic societies that would revolve around equating femininity and masculinity to good bad. This person thinks you picked the women in the video? Yeah, what? I don't like the attention. Please stop. <laughs> Why? What do you mean then? What, what do you think? I made the video? Why are you yelling at me about the video that I'm yelling at and reading your takes in the chat? It feels like we agree. No, I don't. I'm just saying Jubilee did. Then why the did you say, I'm beginning to think, wait, what? I'm beginning to suspect Hassan is secretly anti-feminist. You don't know what it's like to be blasted by a streamer? This is true, I don't. Because I get blasted by you guys all day, every day. I think they were just uh, joking after you said you hate women. Oh, okay, never mind, sorry. Please. This is an empty hallway we shout things at. It's not, there's someone at the end of the hallway, okay? And I hear everything you're saying. What do you mean you got blasted by Valkyrie for supporting her? Yeah, I mean, but it doesn't matter, I'm different than you guys at the end you know what i mean you were like used to anonymously slinging shit uh and and me read it i am you know you're used to anonymously shit slinging i'm used to fucking shit slinging very publicly and then facing the repercussions no matter how ridiculous they may be all right let's continue beautiful about womanhood and women in general and something that kind of shows ways that modern feminism has kind of been a little exclusionary because Women come from all different backgrounds and thought processes, and I think we should support the freedom of choice, the freedom of speech. Regardless. Dude, this is the stupidest take. I, I, I just, I hate it when people do this. Like, people who are quite literally, like, bigoted, backwards, and actually say shit like trans women are not women, turning around and being like, why don't you respect the diversity of my ideas? Oh, the like... If the diversity of your ideas revolves around assuming that, for example, black women are not human beings, then no, I'm not going to respect that, okay? And you probably wouldn't either, even though you are conservative. You're a conservative talking uh, head, so I don't know. Maybe you do are you are around people that do that, 
regularly, but you know, they pay you. So it's a little different, but it's just like, it's ridiculous. You can't, you can't just be like a racist, bigoted piece of shit and then expect people to be like, Oh, I need to listen to your point of view because what about my diversity of ideas? I hate that. I hate that so much because it's so quintessentially American. It disgusts me. Okay. This pathetic individual, hyper individualistic, selfish, entitled attitude that disgusting American pig have where they think like every unique thought that I have needs to be respected. It's valid and it needs to be respected by the simple virtue that I, with my Amera brain, thought it up. Okay. No. No, no, we don't have to respect your ideas, okay? Shut the f*** up. Shut your stupid, idiotic, American, selfish brain up for a brief moment, okay? It's very frustrating whenever dumbass is just like, uh -huh, actually, my idiocy is just as valid as the statements that you are uttering, regardless of whether you, what you're saying is true and what I'm saying is not. It doesn't matter. It does. Yes, it does. Shut up. Shut the f*** up you are a moron okay you're a troglodyte you're a moron lifestyle that that woman wants to choose if you personally feel you're pro-life that's fine feminism as a movement should be pro-choice to allow anyone to choose whatever path they want to have. exactly that's exactly spit leon leon is just spitting like a mother like it doesn't matter even if you personally are like i don't think that I would get an abortion. Like at the very, like you should respect other women that want to, you know what I mean? That's like bananas. Like it doesn't mean you are gonna be forcibly, uh, uh, you know, no one is gonna stop you from uh, carrying a pregnancy to term, okay? You can spit out as many babies from your pussy as you want, okay? Barrage the world with your demon spawn, okay? All day, every goddamn day. Do it, do it all day, okay? Shit them out. No one's stopping you, okay? And if someone tries to stop you, that actually, feminists would say, no, you can't do that. Whether they want to have children or not have children or have abortions or whatever, but if feminism is pro-life, then you've blocked one group of people from choosing whether they want to have abortions or their own family planning. One of the pushbacks that I would just love to give is I believe that abortion is wildly discriminatory against women and against people with disabilities. Baby girls are aborted at a high Yo, let's go. Abortion is eugenics. Dude, I love this. Yo, 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 yo. This is... Conservatives have adopted liberal aesthetics to a T, and it's so perfect, and it's so fucking good. I love that, dude. I love that. I love that. Everything is eugenics. Abortion is eugenics. I mean, technically, uh, uh, saying that uh, Margaret Sanger was a eugenicist is like a conservative line regardless. But now they have modernized that point. I love that. If you're going uh, to get an abortion, you're doing a eugenics. True. People choose to carry babies with disabilities a term all the time. Higher rate, which is so sexist. And so I truly don't. Yeah. People, people, when they have the access to have an abortion, uh, you know, people that are about to have uh, female children end up uh, uh you know having an abortion that's why we need to lock women in uh puss jail like what we need to do what the feminist thing to do is basically treat women like incubators okay just pump them full of cum and then make them forcibly carry pregnancies the term like a goddamn cow okay that we're milking that's what we need to do that's the that's the feminist thing to do okay straight up because you know uh, I guess, uh, uh, I, I had never heard this talking point before. It's pretty cool because, uh, women are, uh, or, or girls are getting aborted at a, uh, at a higher rate than, than, uh, wait, that's, that can't even be fucking true. How would you even know? Can you even know the gender? What, at what term do you figure out the, the gender? Pro-life Barbie. I support a woman's right to choose any gun she wants. Oh my God. Yeah. RPG. I, I want an RPG. 23% to 10% including Chinese statistics. Wait, what? What the fuck does that have to do with America? What are you fucking stupid? What? Wait, what? What? And I feel like that's some antiquated, outdated bullshit from China, too. It's not even like a... You kept the same 10%? What do you mean? I don't think the women that make up uh, 20, uh, 23, 24% of this audience are gonna hear these takes here and think, like, I'm leaving.
Like, I, I don't think any of them... If they were in here already, they already agree with these takes. This is, like, pretty basic shit that I'm stating. Like, everything I've said so far is... None of it is, like, complicated stuff. It's just super basic shit, which is, you know, women should be allowed to have abortions and autonomy over their own bodies. And, uh, and, and you know, trans women are women. That's quite literally just, like, the most basic shit. Don't think that you can be a feminist who is pro-choice because these are discriminatory practices. So I am pro-choice. Um, I feel like some- Yeah, around 18 to 21 weeks, you can find out the, the gender. 91% of abortions take place in the first trimester at about 13 weeks, which is why I said, how do people even know what the gender is? Like that makes no sense. Somebody pro-choice because these are discriminatory practices. So I am pro-choice. Um, I feel like somebody should have whatever type of choice that they want to make. They Sex chromosomes show up in tests as early as 12 weeks. Okay, but like, at that point, it's done. Like, what are you talking about? Most of the abortions have happened already. You take a pill and you pee it out, okay? It's a heavy flow period and you're done. For the most part. It's like not that complicated of a process. Especially if you get it clapped early on. So... Well, what do you mean? They should have an equal say as far as, hey, this is my body. I want to be able to have an abortion or just as equally, I want to say I'm going to have this baby. So, um, and I do believe it's 100% up to the woman. A feminist should probably be more aligned with giving someone their own choice. True. Natural product should be free. Three, two, one, go. What? Just being able to provide, um, for example. What? Yo, why would they say no to that? Just Bro, being... dude, conservatives are so stupid. I'm sorry, dude. Yeah, it's eugenics, but if they were aborted, we automatically, it would have been, you know, we would have had uh, smarter uh, people overall, okay? There you go. I did a eugenics. Sorry. It's just true. It's just true, dude. Conservatives are so stupid. It's, it's insane, okay? It's literally insane. I, I just don't understand how, like, how can you, how can you personally advocate against your best interest in such a meaningful way? Like it is just so is right there in front of you. And what do I always say? I always tell you like lazy people under a capitalist organization of the workplace is not, they're not, they're not stupid. Okay. Like people who work super hard to, to get the admiration of their bosses and their managers are technically working against their best interest. They are the stupid ones. These women are doing that, but in the feminism spectrum, where they're like, if there was a presented, if men were presented with an opportunity where they were like, should Viagra be given to you for free? They would jump on it. They'd be like, yeah, that's awesome. Not even a menstrual product, you know? It's not even to the same degree. It's not even the same necessity, right? As menstrual products. But these dumbasses quite literally are just like, no, I love capitalism so much that even if it was given to me, I would be like, nah, I don't want it. In an option, if the option was there, I'd be like, nah, I don't want it. It's so fucking dumb. What do I always tell you? Back when the government was giving out money, in the beginning of the pandemic, there'd be people in the chat who said, Hassan, I feel kind of f***ed up taking money from the government. What's going on? Maybe I don't need it that much. I didn't work for it. What did I always tell you? Rich people do not even consider that to be a handout, okay? Rich people don't, rich people don't even have to ask for handouts. They literally take it. They write the system. They design the system in a way so they can take the handout. It's poor people shit to just be like, oh, should I take the money from the government? That's what these two dumbasses are doing here. In a hypothetical where menstrual products should be free, even then they're like, no, nah, even in this hypothetical scenario, I think not. It's so stupid. It's so fucking stupid, dude. When rich people get money from the government, it's called a subsidy. Okay. And it's a part of legislation and it has to happen. When poor people get money from the government, it's called a handout. And that's actually really bad. And it's a moral hazard. No, it's because you're stupid. Okay. That you're dumb. Sorry. It's just, you've been conditioned and trained into thinking that it's immoral for you to get money from the government. Okay. That's it. Being able to provide, um, for example, you're going to let them explain. No, dude, I'm going to keep talking over them forever. Like, are you new here? Shut the f idiot. Just pay cheap ass. This is your job. What? Ew. You three month subscriber, disgusting. Thank you for the fifteen dollars, though, dumbass, dumb. Low income school, you know. There's a lot of girls that cannot afford. Oh that. shit! Yeah. The man, the myth, the legend. You're late, bro. You're late. Why? How did you? Why are you here? Marat's here. Not myth. Myth's here. Not here right now. What?
It's Smith has my car, but he's just working out. He's gonna be back. Yo, let's go. Thank you. Rock got me magnets. Let's continue with this yeah, feminism video. There's a shame to ask for it. I mean, I, I personally believe that anything that you didn't, yeah, I guess, ask for, like menstrual cycles or even, I mean, if we get into healthcare, I think that's, that should be all be added on. I believe that everyone should be compensated for their labor, and I believe that creating and producing menstrual products, it's a service, and Thanks that people should get... Dude, I love that. I love that, dude. There, there you go. That's how stupid she is. Oh my god, she's so dumb. She's the dumbest person in, in America, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's how it works. When something is a free product, that means it was made by slaves for free. Yeah, that's that's how this works. Wow, what a brilliant person, dude. What a brilliant fucking person. Yeah. Like, Rhodes? Rhodes? Famously built exclusively with slave labor. That's how it works. Infrastructure, slave labor. You can be against free products. Yeah. Like, right now. When you go outside and there's road work happening, slaves. Those guys, they might not look like it, but they are actually slaves, sweaty. Yeah. Think about that next time. Oh, you won't think about it because you're not a alpha brain capitalist like Grace. Paid. Well, nobody's saying that they won't get paid because, like you said, you were born a woman. You didn't ask to have periods. Everybody knows when you go to public school, the teacher is a slave. Handouts. So now you have to go out and pay taxes on... You know, you have to pay more taxes than exactly. I do because I don't have to buy don't have to tampons, tampons or yeah. whatever, yeah. Is this like a pandemic of women like bleeding through their clothes or something? Because I've worked with low income families. This is never an issue I've ever heard other than on social media. Now, are there instances or may there be segments in people's lives where they need like, like things or they need help or they need the community to get behind them? Absolutely. But I don't think it's this huge crisis that everybody is making it out to be. I just... Okay, but if it's not a huge crisis, then why not address it? That means that, like, the solution is not that difficult, right? I don't get it. Like, I, I don't understand. Why does that preclude them from being free? I, I don't know. I don't know where these people are getting their the thoughts from. Definitely not the normal brain that normal human beings uh, operate with, though. Are you hungry? Uh, I have some chicken tendies in the kitchen, not from Dave's, but it's pretty good. It's like two left, I think, but, and also some other stuff in the fridge. I've not seen it. Sonic, you see Rose did your merch? Men can be feminist. True. Three, two, one, go. I mean, I'm wearing True. a hoodie that says men can be feminist too. <laughs> I feel like I have to be over here. I think most men that are feminists are like usually okay guys guys this is a you know, really hot take chat guys i'm not trying to get canceled but i think i think it doesn't matter what statement it is wearing political statements on your shirt is a fucking stupid you, sh you shouldn't do it I said, I said it i said it either i said it lazy virtue signaling just won't it did shut up did listen i don't want to get fucking fashion advice from a uh, dude who literally goes to pack sun and buys everything off the rack okay Straight up! Every woman should be a feminist. Three, two, one, go. Once again, I feel like that kind of goes against everything that feminism stands for by saying that a woman has Nothing. to think a certain way. Every woman should be a feminist instead of every woman has to be a feminist. That's kind of why I went to the strongly agree. Yes, you should be a feminist if you're a woman because you should want equal rights. Going back, I think people have really misinterpreted the, the word feminism, you know, but most women should be feminist, but they are. I think to me they are. I don't know any woman that it's not a feminist. They don't call themselves it because of the extreme feminism. Like, for example, I like to serve my husband. You know, that's something I like. That doesn't make me not a feminist. That's who I am. He likes to do other things, like change my tires. I will never do that. That doesn't mean I'm not a feminist, you know? And that is officially a wrap, you guys. Oh, wow. Yeah. You can't put it. High five. Here you go. High five yeah, awesome. I'll give you a hug. High five over there. That is so good. Good job. Oh, high five. Yeah, awesome. Ooh, high five all over there. All right. Right on. Look at you. Wait.
Um, let me guess. I didn't see this part, but every woman should be a feminist. I bet the conservatives said no, right? I knew it. I knew it. Remember, even when, okay, even when they have already redefined feminism to be like accepting of diversity of opinions and bigotry, even then they're like, oh, but also you don't even need to be a feminist. Hmm. That's interesting. Three. Two, one, go. Once again, I feel like that kind of goes against everything that feminism stands for by saying that a woman has to think a certain way. Every woman should be a why? feminist. Instead why? Why did you fucking, why did you already, you already redefined the boundaries of what feminism is. Feminism is when uh, women think the way I do, which is like bigoted, stupid, uh, and anti-feminist. But even then, it's okay if you're not a feminist. Even within those boundaries, if you're not a feminist, it's okay. What the fuck does that mean? If every woman has to be a feminist, that's kind of why I went to the strongly agree. Yes, you should be a feminist if you're a woman, because you should want equal rights. Going back, I think people have really misinterpreted the, the word feminism, you know, but most women should be. Feminist, but they are. I think to me they are. I don't know any woman that it's not a feminist. But they don't call themselves it because of the extreme feminism. Like for example, I like to serve my husband. You know, that's something I like. That doesn't make me not a feminist. That's who I am. He likes to do other things like change my tires. I will never do that. That doesn't mean I'm not a feminist, you know? And that's feminism. That is officially a wrap. Feminism is when a uh, man, uh, or, or feminism is when woman changed, uh, changes tire. Yeah, Marat just made fun of me. He said, since you don't know how to change a tire, would you consider yourself to be a feminist? Yes, that's why I'm a feminist. I'm a feminist because I don't know how to change a tire, dude. Straight up. All right, well, the real reason why I'm a feminist is because I remember the top of the hour ad break at the top of every hour, okay? And I tell you, okay, men, women, doesn't matter. This is an equal opportunity ad avoidance ad break announcement. I will serve you an ad. You might be a woman. You might be a man. Don't know why I you will get the ad just, just the same. Every time. Hassle. Unless you are subscribed. That's right. For $5 or for free. Or if you get gifted a sub like from What's Good On Here. Or Gerbergled. If you're lucky that is. Then you will no longer see an ad at the top of the hour. We'll instead continue with the ad free broadcasting experience. And not miss a single moment of something I promised you that we were going to do. That promise was MasterChef. That's right. Promises made, promises kept. Ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, NBs, it's MasterChef time. I'm wearing a hoodie that says men can be feminists too. I, I feel like I have to be over here. Oh God, dude. I just like... Uh, uh. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>